They were very superstitious people. They believed in like ghosts and um, spirits, and they had their local, their own doctors who used to come when someone was sick. Um, and he would do all kinds of magic, killing chickens and stuff like that, and killing animals and making making kind of magic or whatever. But it didn't work, so they used to get the, the white people to come and give them injections. <laughs> and what, what else? Yeah, but as I said, they were very superstitious and they were always... Um, like they didn't like to go into the woods, into the forest, the jungle, alone because they they were scared. You know, they, they would meet bad spirits, and, and but I'm sure that's changed now with uh, all the different generations, and um, and this was not to do with uh, with being Muslim because they were all Muslim except for the Indians, of course, and the Chinese. <clears throat> it was just to do with ancient, very old fears of the unknown, you know, the... And it kind of affected me in a way, so that when I came back to live in the West, I had to go through a, um, a sort of catharsis, an exorcism for myself to get rid of these fears even though I couldn't cope with it intellectually, um, it didn't mean anything to me at, at my age. Something stayed on the fact that, and when I came back to England and re I was reading and heard about people who believed in spirits and, um, you know, this kind of shit. So I think when I was about 19 or something, I, I took some acid and I put myself in a, a graveyard by a church and I sat there and said come and get me you know show me what, what's happening and <laughs> I want to see what people are talking about and uh, I did that maybe two or three times in places that were very spooky very scary and it didn't do anything to me nothing happened so that kind of I I just dismissed it, and I haven't been scared about the dark or anything since. Or being on my own doesn't, doesn't bother me at all. <laughs>